am so proud. Hello, Jane. Hi, Tom. The state exam results are finally back and you have done a great job. Your students have scored very high. Your lesson plan really worked. Keep doing a great job. Hi Kate, I have received the math scores. Congratulations on your students' tests, they are the highest in the state. Those are not the real test scores. David was worried I would not meet test standards in my class and pressured me to report better ones. Here are the original ones. I just wanted you to be proud of me. But I realize I was extremely wrong for doing this. I will get back with you. David, please report to the principal's office immediately. Your goals were out of reach for both teachers. The students do not have enough motivation to perform that well. Tom was capable of reaching set goals without cheating. Look at his scores. And you didn't even give Kate a chance to show you that her scores were high enough as well. Wow. That's amazing. I apologize for my actions and I hope you give me another chance. I will let you know tomorrow. Good morning. May I speak? Yes. I have known Kate for 12 years now, I was worried about the amount of pressure being put on testing. The last time grades were slipping, Kate's students scored one point below the mark. She almost lost her position as math chair for it. Test scores show nothing. I have seen how happy her students are in her class. You can't grade her efforts using only a test. I was not going to let my friend and colleague lose her position because of a stupid test. Punish me however you see fit, but Kate is not to blame. At this point, Jane knows exactly what she has to do. 